morning and welcome once again to our thought for the day i have a, a a tremendous little thought for this day in fact for every day of our lives i'm going to mention a, a, a couple of verses from a passage of scripture that i've grown to love and it means so much to me personally and it's micah chapter 7 and when you have time i want you to read the first seven eight verses and it's so wonderful as you read it and see what happens but I want to read you verse 7 and 8. It says, Therefore I will look unto the Lord, I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O mine enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. I'm glad that you feel that you've fallen and failed. His everlasting arms are able to lift you up. And to take you on to success in him i'm glad that he is our light in the time of darkness he is the one upon whom we can depend and so the little uh, uh, heading i've given to my thought is simply this and i love it my god will hear me just five words my god will hear me you see our reading today is a pretty discouraging one when you read it until we come to that verse seven but coming to that verse seven is quite incredible verse two says this the good man is perished out of the earth and there is none upright then verse three goes on to say that they may do evil with both hands earnestly in other words evil seems to be going on so much as you listen to micah and it's not the same in our day verse five it says trust thee not in a friend nor put confidence in a guide and on we could go as we read these verses and if we read them we could quite honestly say it's almost speaking about the day in which we live it's so up to date it would seem that the good man uh, cannot be found anymore the upright man cannot be found and speaking of putting trust in a guide or in our leaders of our time is quite worrying the leaders of our time not only in our land but all over our world seem to be frustrated seem not to, to be sure of what to do and what to do next because the times in which we live are so difficult so if all these fail who can we turn to well you may say there's always my family my family's always there and yet verse 6 goes on and shows us that there are even problems that can be found in the home even family will let you down sometimes and i'm sure there are people listening to my voice today and you say I found that have happened to me and it's the most hurtful thing that could happen. Yet, we may be let down by family, we may be let down by friends. So who can we turn to for help? Is there not anyone that can help? I'm so glad that verse 7 has been penned for you and for me by the prophet Micah through the inspiration of God. And it says there this, Therefore, when all these things happen, therefore... I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. What a guarantee. My God will hear me. When everyone else turns a deaf ear, when everyone else doesn't want to know, my God will hear me. And I want to tell you right now, whatever happens in this day, you call upon him and he will hear you. You see, nothing takes God by surprise. And it may be that today you go into the day and everything seems to be fine. And all of a sudden something happens that you never expected. In that time when everything seems to have gone wrong, when the bottom sometimes seems to fall out of your experience, he knows all about it. And he's waiting for you to call on him because he guarantees he will hear you. What a promise and what a great truth. Because our God is a living God. Our God is a loving God. But he's also a listening God. And so we can put our trust in him. In our deepest problems, we can call upon him. The one who hears and answers our prayer. He's the listening God. Isn't it strange? You know, there are companies and they have slogans. There's a certain bank and they say, they're the listening bank. But you know, sometimes they don't listen. I'm glad that Jesus always listens and whatever you need he will supply he will supply all your needs according to his riches 
in glory. God bless you today. Go into the day with great confidence. Keep saying it in your mind. My God will hear me. God bless you.